What's up guys? I'm back like I never left and before I start this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and click that bell ding for post notifications so you guys get notified every single time I upload. For those of you who don't know, I am very short. I am very tiny. When people see me in person or I see some of my subscribers in person, first thing all of them say is like, whoa, you're short. I picture you to be taller. Guys, I'm only 4 foot 11. The reason why I'm mentioning this to you guys is because I am down here, okay? Therefore, when I look up, I notice things on people that the normal person probably wouldn't notice because they were either level-headed or taller. And it's quite gross, but the first thing I notice when I look at anybody is I look in their ears. You can tell a person's hygiene by their ears. If your ears are nasty, you can tell that you don't bathe properly and you don't keep up with yourself. So in this video, I am going to teach those who don't know how to clean their ears, how to clean your ears. So you don't have deadness, like coming from the outside of your ears, okay? My ears are always clean. You will never see me with nastiness in my ears. You'll never see me with boogers in my nose. I am on that. So what I use to clean my ears, and a lot of people may disagree, but I use Q-tips, okay? These bad boys right here do me justice. They change my life. I use these to clean my ears. I can't pick my nose because I have long nails, so I use this to clean my nose. I clean my eye boogers with this. If I have a crease under my eye for my makeup, Makeup, I pat it with this. I didn't mention this before because I think this goes without being said, but you can get Q-tips, cotton swabs at your Dollarama, your Dollar Store, your Dollar Tree, Shoppers Drug Mart for my Canadians, CVS for my Americans, Walgreens for my Americans, Walmart for my Americans. I don't know what they use in the UK or the rest of the world, but they're cotton swabs, Q-tips. Get them on Amazon if you have to. They're very easy to get to purchase them, love them, make them a part of your life. So I wet the tip of my Q-tip because I don't want residue of the Q-tip being stuck in my ear. I only have two ears, okay? And I need them to hear. So I lick it and I put it in my ear and it just feels so good to clean your ears. This is how my ears look. Hello, can you see? And I was deep in there. I don't know. I don't know how people don't like cleaning their ears. It's like better than. Do you see? Look how clean my ears are. And for those who are gonna come for me saying, "Oh, Q-tips shouldn't go in your ears. You can cause all these problems from inserting things on your ears." Blah 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 blah. And it's like, okay, I got you. If you don't want to put Q-tips in your ears. That is actually fine. So what you gotta do, you take a washcloth, preferably a white one, because with white washcloths, you can see how dirty you really are, okay? You use the tip of your finger, like this, right? And you wet it. It's a little bit damp. So you take your washcloth, don't mind my sideburns, I'm Indian, it's actually fine, and I like them. So those of you who are gonna cover my sideburns, I purposely keep them there. People who talk about my sideburns are just mad because you guys are bald and you guys have to wear wigs, okay? And make fake baby hairs, I have. All of that realness you mad so you take this you see right here in here right in the corner right here it accumulates a lot of dirt and lots of people don't clean in there so you take this just go just clean it see clean your ears guys clean all up in here clean all of there if you don't want to go in your ears because you're scared okay I don't know what you're scared of, but you're scared. Take the same part of the rag and just go in your ears with your fingers and just dig it out. You know, dig, dig, dig it out. Because there is absolutely no reason that you should be a whole big man capable of taking showers and capable of keeping up with your hygiene. There is no way you can be a big woman who beats their face with makeup, okay? Beats it to the gods, but have dirty ears. No excuse, zero. And then, like I said, if you don't wanna put a Q-tip in your ears, you don't have to. Use a rag, my dear. Use a rag and clean out the outside because I be looking in people's ears and the wax be dripping. Be dripping out onto the floor. All the way to the floor okay and people don't care this is how you clean your ears also if you guys want me to do a diy ear candling video please let me know because i'll teach you guys how to do that as well a little short video but it's really gross seeing people's ears like that like it's gross you're a big woman you're a big man fix up fix up thanks for watching this video don't forget to follow me on instagram at sirachi follow me on snapchat at shut up brandy and i just hope that this video helps people out because 2020 i refuse to see dirty earlobes 
I'm going to call it out. I'm going to call it out. Bye. Peace out.